Hello everybody, Kixie here, and today I got a bit of an update to the flying machine or flying platform. So I actually got two of them, and they both function a little bit differently, but they are both a lot better than my original design. So over here is the original, and it is a omnidirectional flying platform, and it could even go up and down, so it's six axes and it works pretty good it's just a little sluggish and as you can see it requires you to step on these pressure plates to move around and it's just it's not the best design but it's functional but so uh, here is my first design over here and it is basically just a flying glass platform that you could stand on and as you can see it is 5x5 five and I could walk without falling off and it just follows me around wherever I go and so this design is very nice because it's just is very simple and it functions very great uh, the only issue with this design is you could only go up easily uh, you could jump and then to go down you actually have to break the glass in the middle to go down so it's not the best design but it's very functional compared to the other one and then well, for some reason I can't fly my second uh, design over here is a little it goes a little bit back to the original design but as you can see when I activate it, it actually just follows me around wherever I go so you don't need all the uh, pressure plates but to go up and down stone pressure plates or stone buttons are to go up and you could hold it or click it and then the wood buttons are to go down the only issue with these are is if you click the button on the off part of the refresh rate it will go down very slow and if you get it on the right like interval then it will go down very fast so there's no way to really fix that it's just uh, something that it does if I put a clone command there to lower it it would probably function a little bit better but that's the way I use it for now is I basically just teleport the player up and down and the platform will follow so over here is my first design and it is quite simple so the first command I have is a fill command that fills air and then immediately after that I have it fill with the glass the glass is a 4x4 platform and the air is a 7x7x5 and so it goes three blocks above this then it includes this and then one block below so five blocks total of height and then seven by seven so that allows one block of air on all four sides and what that allows us to do is when you move it will delete any uh, trails that are left behind so how this works is when this gets activated I actually have a wireless activation it's just a command block that summons a or places a block of redstone right here and activates it and then if you remember my player health system uh, you could do a few tricks with command block minecarts if you put two command block minecarts hooked up to one single piece of redstone or one single activator track it will do a very odd thing and minecraft will order the commands by priority or it prioritizes commands by their entity number and the lower the number the better and uh, that one gets processed sooner so basically uh, with the order that you place the command block minecarts is the order that they get activated in even if they are ex activated at exactly the same time so these two commands right here I placed this command block first the uh, fill with air and then I placed the stained glass fill one that fills the platform second but they both get activated at exactly the same time so within the same tick uh, basically instantly it will fill with air and then what will be left behind is the glass platform and the glass platform won't get replaced because it's after the air command and then uh, uh, thanks to Simply Sark I believe it is Simply Sark uh, I saw on his channel uh, I've been actually wondering this for quite a while I just haven't really sat down and calculated it but basically in one of his videos he said that the command block minecarts refresh every uh, what was it they refresh every other tick 
of redstone. So basically they refresh at a rate or they activate five times per second. So every other tick because redstone uh, has 10 ticks per second and I actually didn't know that and that's a little bit slower than you could actually get it as uh, the fastest. So what I did is I have a single tick delay between two units of exactly the same one so you can see this is fill air, this is fill air, this one fills the glass and this one also does. And so if I have a one tick delay, this one will update on the even numbers and this one will update on the odd numbers. Actually, uh, I believe it's vice versa. So they'll go one, two, three, four, and so on and so forth. And so that allows us, since they're exactly the same thing, they're just being activated on a single tick delay between each other. Uh, it basically allows us to have a command block minecart that updates 10 times per second, which is a lot faster. And the refresh rate from going from 5 to 10 uh, ticks per second allows us to only have a single block of error uh, between this. Uh, if you only had one uh, unit that updated 5 times per second, it would actually leave trails of glass everywhere occasionally. And so. Uh, we have to do this little trick right here, updating it twice. Also, I do want to note, this is just for demonstration purposes. You could actually stack these minecarts, the ones in the single unit, on top of each other. And it will compress the unit down a little bit. You still have to have these two separate between the one tick delay because it requires the one tick delay. But it functions very well. Another thing that's very, very nice about this design is it's very simple but the good thing about it is it is relative to the player the whole entire command is relative to the player and what this allows us to do is you could actually place this in your own world or in any world and it will just or it'll function like normal because uh, since it's all relative it just looks for where the player is and places the uh, or executes the command on the player and that makes it very nice and simple to uh, copy over to a world unlike this one where you have to copy uh, 12 very distinct uh, commands that require exact coordinates now moving on to this design that is a little bit more like the original this one has a little bit more features like going up and down and it just looks a little bit nicer than that one uh, this one you could have your own custom platform uh, design that you want. This one is just a flat plane of whatever uh, you want to choose. So for this one, uh, as you can see, or as you can tell, it uses a clone command because it clones this box and places it wherever you want. And the only issue with this one is it requires exact coordinates like my original design. Now this one isn't as bad because it only requires one single command block or command block minecart and then you just duplicate the command so uh, just one command it's very helpful and so I do want to say that uh, this is very precise you want to place or you want to get your coordinates for the top uh, part or you want to get your first coordinate from the northwest side. And that's going to be the upper northwest is your X, Y, and Z1 for the clone command. And then for your southwest, or southeast actually, for your southeast corner and at the very bottom is going to be your X, Y, and Z2. And so if you see this one, it has a one block gap below it. And then above it, it actually has a three block gap above it. So keep that in mind if you're going to put this in your own world. And where those get plugged in is this is X, Y, and Z1, and then this is X, Y, and Z2. And then these should stay the same if you keep the box the same size, uh, because these just place it relative to where the player is. And so it should be a lot easier to copy over to a player. And then these commands right here are just teleport at player up one block, and then this teleports them down one block. And so I think that's about it. Hope you all enjoy. Also, uh, don't forget there is a download link below. I am going to update it for all three of these. Uh, currently, it's just the single uh, design, but I will update it for all three of them. And so don't forget to download that if you want to try it out. 
and uh, these two should be pretty easy to copy over to your own world. Uh, you just have to edit a few commands. This one is ready to just copy right into your world. Uh, no editing required for that design. And I think that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you all next time.